So today, I just uh, received a new toy. Well, actually, it's a tool. It's the uh, TAC Life Test, Measure, and Inspect Digital Multimeter model DM02A. So, um, this was my digital multimeter I've been using, and it's the one that I had to fix the uh, wires on and stuff. So, it's getting long in the tooth, and you know, it's been a good multimeter for what I've been using. Uh, I have some of the cheap uh, Harbor Freight ones, but I don't, I have that, I use that, and I have my old analog little tiny Radio Shack uh, realistic multimeter, but I saw this one, it was a pretty good deal, it was like $8, you know, after coupons and, you know, on sale already, so I said, hey, why not, it's supposed to have a continuity, audible continuity, and I thought that would be real nice. And it's also supposed to have auto scaling for your testing resistors and stuff. So let's get started. Okay, move this up a bit. Um, this is an actual unboxing too, so it's okay. if it's that bad oh so here we go that's the user manual little I don't know if it's just multiple versions of different languages or not yep about nine pay eight pages it was English Deutsch Francais Espanol Italian and I'm guessing Chinese, but who knows, since this is made in China. But, I don't know. I'm not familiar with the uh, script, so. But, we have control of this stuff. Let's open up the packing. It's the unit itself. What I wasn't expecting was a screwdriver. Got a screwdriver, and then here's the test leads. So, ah, ooh, look at that fancy. What is that? Ah, take the little cap. These these won't be lost at all. Yeah, and I'm sure I'm going to replace these tips every time I use it. Oh well, we'll see. Yeah. Yeah. Well, or better made than my other one. My other one just had the wire in. And so it's just my metal fatigue over time, but at least it's not going to move around and just rip itself off. But then again, we'll see. <coughs> Never know until you issue. Now this says auto power off. Um, whole bunch of things. Looks like it's a voltage. Oh, test diodes. Oh, one thing it's supposed to have is it's supposed to be able to test, um, see if you have active, uh, near, near, uh, what's that called? Non-contact voltage sensing. So if it's like over 90 volts from what I was reading earlier, it will, uh, should signal. Whereas the other one I had a, <laughs> a lot of stuff. This one, you still have to twist, but let's see. Oh, it's got a nice little stand. We stand it up. Look at that. Yeah. 
I'm guessing this is doing better, right? Probably could just... Oh, there. Hey, George. Oh, turn these off. See if it works. Looks like it's got a battery in it already. So. <coughs> Trying to untangle these wires. Alright. Take off these two little take off the tip covers. So I can lose those. Check. Just come on. Okay. Hmm. Oh, got frequency. That's kind of cool. My other one, I don't think I have that. We'll have to learn actually how to use all, some of this stuff. <coughs> What's that? Yeah. yeah. It'll auto range the resistance. I could do the same thing with voltage. drop for the diode. Range it's supposed to continuity should if measured resistance less than one hundred ohms will will buzzer is sounded. Hmm. And it should go beep. There we go. You have to have that set, this button switched it to the function of that, so otherwise <coughs> it measures the drop voltage for the diode or you're going to be doing continuity. So now I can check continuity and stuff. That's not continuity. That's continuity. Ooh. Hey, I got a number of battery here. Let's check voltage. AC. DC. Oh, I've got DC, AC. I'm going to switch right there. Got the negative, negative, positive, positive. 9.65 volts on a 9 volt battery. Sweet! We should check to see if we can. Oh. You know why? Because <laughs> there's a power strip right there. So, we pull back. That's cool. I'm going to check over here. Oh, yeah, there's power there. Oh, yeah. Hmm, sweet. That's kind of nice. The, uh... <coughs> so, so far, um, I'm, I'm thinking for the price, pretty nice. Um, has more functionality than the old one. The wire's kind of stiff, but that's okay. Um, there's little cappy things or, you know, Things I'll probably wind up losing. But I'm not gonna go through everything that it can do, but continuity, frequency, that's that's nice. If you want to measure a frequency coming out of something, you can do that. Um, AC current, DC current, AC voltage, are you over the diodes, DC voltage. Auto power off. Little battery indicator. I guess that's if I replace the battery in the unit. Okay. I wasn't sure what these symbols were, but yeah, uh, that makes sense. DC current. And. Uh, 
better uh, look at the. Let me see if I can zoom it in. Pop this out. And here, um, pointing to that. I wasn't sure what these symbols were with next to the V's, but well, it kind of it's on my other one too. So, well, the sine wave for AC and flat for DC. So, didn't know that. <coughs> didn't realize it. I knew AC was alternating and DC was flat. But all right. Um, but yeah, as you can see, it's got the volts. Um, ohms. Uh, resistance um, diode check and this one also when you put the function will switch from voltage to the ohms and that's where you can do the audible continuity so when I try and check for continuity on it I'll just be able to use my ears which would be nice um, and again we're in your power supply so I'm just gonna It's going to go a little crazy. Frequency, I have offhand, I don't have any to measure the frequency. Oh, amperage, current. Currently, it's supposed to have a backlight. Oh, look at that. There we go. Hmm. Now, if I'm trying to do this stuff in the dark, I'll be able to see it. Which, I. Depending upon what, what what you're doing, um, I could have a uh, you know if you're trying to check continuity on a, some wires on a car or something and don't have a lot of light. Well, continuity you got the audio, but I mean if you want to check resistance and the voltage, you know you getting you getting the right voltage to the starter and stuff like that. You can the current you can do that. So yeah, so I, I guess this is. Uh, as long as it, it works, um, be a step up from my old, old machine, so that's the uh, Tech Life DN02A. Brand spanking new. I guess we'll call that done. That's the, like I said, nifty seven, eight months. Um, Less than eight dollars, so with prime shipping, so sweet. Well, catch you later.